Here's how to redeem an eBay gift card using a computer or the eBay app on your phone. If it's a physical card, you first need to prepare it. If yours looks like mine, the cashier at the store would have torn a little piece of cardboard off the back to scan it, grab onto the edge of that ripped out area, and tear into the packaging until you can pull the actual card from the inside. Then on the back, scrape off the silver stuff, making sure that all 13 digits are revealed and that they are legible. Before you redeem the code, first you need to have an eBay account, so create one if you haven't already. Here's how to do the redemption process on a computer. Log into your account on the eBay website, then you need to commit to purchasing at least one item. This can be done by clicking on an item and using the buy it now button, or by using the add to cart button. You can also bid on an item and win it, or have a buyer accept your best offer. You will then need to head to to the checkout. If you did a buy it now, you'll get this screen right after you click buy it now, and there's a proceed to checkout button right there, so go ahead and click that. If you bought the item using one of the other ways, you'll need to select the cart icon at the top right. And then on the cart page, click the go to checkout button. Once you're on the checkout screen, you'll see your payment methods at the top, but you'll need to scroll down to this little field that says enter code. Click on it and type in your code. Make sure you're only typing the code that was under the scratch off material if you happen to be using a physical gift card. Ignore all the other codes printed on the back of it. All codes should be 13 digits. You do not need to add any spaces as you type it in. Click apply. In that same area, you should see the word applied followed by the amount that was applied to the transaction. Note that no purchase has been made yet. It's just adjusting the amount of this invoice. You will also see in the upper right that the adjustment has been made to the total. If the full amount of your card wasn't used, you will be able to use the remaining balance next time you buy something. In that case, you won't have to enter the code again. The balance will just appear as available under the same section where you originally entered the code. You'll just have to click the check mark next to it. If the full amount was used, like it was in my case here, then if there's any remaining balance, you have to pay for that some other way. In my case, I still owe 1261. I can scroll up and see what method is designated to pay that remaining amount. I could switch to another method in that same area, but I'm going to leave it set to my credit card no matter what your situation is, you will need to click the pay now button to complete the transaction and that's what I'll do here. And the purchase has been made. If you're using the eBay app, here's how to redeem your gift card. Make sure you have logged into your account and then commit to buy something by bidding and winning or by using the buy it now option or by using the add to cart option or by the seller accepting your best offer. You'll then need to head to checkout. If you used buy it now, it'll immediately give you the proceed to checkout button. So select that to get there. If you bought using one of the other ways, you'll need to select the cart icon at the top right. And then on the cart page, select go to checkout. On the checkout screen, scroll down and tap the section that says gift cards, coupons, eBay bucks. That will bring up the enter a code screen. There's two ways to enter it. One way is to click the little camera icon. This will allow you to use your phone's camera to scan the code, assuming you have a physical gift card on hand. In order to proceed with that option, you have to give the app permission to use your camera, and you do that by proceeding with the process. Select the camera icon. You may get a pop-up message like this, Select OK, then you'll get a screen like this where you can select the level of permission you want to give it. I'll select while using this app. It'll activate the camera and you'll just need to hold the code from the card in front of the camera lens until it's in focus and like magic, it'll input the code onto the line and you'll just need to select done. If you didn't use the camera option, just enter the code manually these codes are 13 digits long and you don't need to enter the spaces. After typing it in, select done. If your code was valid, it'll display that it has applied some amount from the card. Select done. 
you'll see that the total has been adjusted. If the card covered the entire cost of the item, your order total will say zero and you can select pay now to officially buy the item. If your card did not cover the entire cost, it'll pay the remaining amount with whatever payment method you have as your default. That default option will appear on this same screen and you'll have the option to change it. Then you can select pay now to buy the item. If you didn't use the entire amount of your gift card, the remaining balance will be available when you buy another item. You do not have to re-enter the code. At the checkout screen, select the gift cards, coupons, eBay bucks option again, and you'll see the remaining amount sitting there. You'll need to click the check mark beside it. Select done, and then select pay now. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Have a great day, everybody.